بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome everyone to today's class This class is for the first secondary grade in English subject for the second semester And the lesson is unit 3 Lesson and discuss from the book Mega Gold 2 Our objective in today's lesson is that we're going to have a warm up we're going to talk about uh, 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 different questions and different scenarios and then we're going to learn the format of uh, complaint and also uh, a new word. We're going to know uh, or learn a new word or vocabulary. So let's begin. <clears throat> the first question we have here is that have you ever bought or paid for something that you weren't happy with? Let's say, for example, um, if you buy an item, whatever the item was, and um, all of a sudden that you find this item is uh, e either broken or that you, you don't like using it or um, you, you were having uh, an idea and then uh, about this item and then uh, suddenly something came up. So, uh, have you ever been in those situations when uh, when you pay for something or uh, you bought something and you're not exactly satisfied? Here are more examples of those questions. For example, if you bought a phone that is, let's say, easily broken, or you 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 bought a beautiful clothes that when you see it it's uh, torn, and uh, from, let's say from the first wash and then it's turned. So. Uh, or, for example, a laptop that you just bought and you spilled your coffee on it and suddenly uh, it's broken and no warranties or uh, not anything can help you uh, to repair it and you have to buy a new one. So, for myself, yes, I have been um, uh, in this situation when I bought uh, for uh, a new tablet and that tablet actually, the minute I walk out of the shop, actually um, it slipped with my hand and dropped and it's all of a sudden broken and it became like this one. Okay, so the steps I make uh, or the decisions I make after this is that I went to the, uh, to the repair shop and they, uh, I paid for a new screen actually and this is what uh, I usually do, uh, or let's say most people do, when they have uh, a, a broken uh, uh, item uh, uh, in their, uh, from the things that they bought, they go to the fair shop or they can uh, also uh, present their warranty so they uh, can have better results uh, from what happened. So uh, this is the first question we have. Um, now, uh, share uh, your experience, this is the second task that we should do today. Share your experiences of returning an item to a store or of negotiating with a repair shop. Well, um, as the example I just said, uh, uh, I negotiated actually with a repair shop and I also present the, uh, the warranty paper that I have. And I said that if you can uh, replace this one with a new one, he said no, this is a, a result of misusing, he said this. So uh, we cannot uh, uh, give you a new one. This is not a, a factory fault. So the best solution uh, during the negotiation, the best solution the repair shop that can offer me is that uh, they can uh, uh, they can fix it and uh, put a, a new screen okay he said like this to put a new screen so uh, uh, they uh, this is the only option i was having at that time and this is what uh, what i did uh, at the end so a lot of uh, uh, since now uh, especially in the present time a lot of uh, uh, let's say devices that we encounter every day in our life. So the the kind of experience or the kind of the situations when you returning an item or negotiating to be uh, uh, to 
be uh, repaired. Uh, so this is this is this is likely happens in a daily basis. So um, here I, I share my experience. Okay, and now we're going to move to the next part of the lesson. So now uh, the next part of our lesson is regarding complaints. And what do we mean by complaints are the kind of, let's say, the kind of expressions, the kind of, uh, the kind of situations where you are not happy with something, uh, you go complain. For example, if I am not happy with my new cell phone, with my new laptop, with my new computer, what I do, I go and I make a complaint. I go to the store or the shop which I bought from, and I make a complaint. I said, hey, I'm sorry, but this is not working. I need a new one. I need a new item. You have to fix this. This is, this is making a complaint. This is making a complaint when I, when I am not uh, happy with something, and I make a complaint. So uh, now, uh, in this slide, We are having a different uh, scenarios, okay? And uh, what we need to do now, uh, as you can see, there are different places we're going to discuss, and how actually in those different places the uh, complaint, uh, the complaints are made. How in those different uh, places the complaints are made? So what what we need to do is that we are going to read those scenarios, okay? And then after this, we're going to discuss the kind of complaints, the kind of complaints that are made in those uh, in those uh, situations or in those places. Okay, so find one sentence in each picture that is a complaint. So this is our task. Okay, this is our task to find a complaint in each uh, situation in those pictures. So the first one we have here is car repairs, okay? Car repairs. Now this is a problem regarding uh, fixing a car, okay? So obvi uh, obviously uh, uh, this is the customer and he uh, and this is the repairman or the let's say the mecha the, the mechanic and the wo that works in uh, 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 in car repairs. So the customer said the engine makes a strange noise. It was then for repairs just last week. Okay, the engine makes a strange noise. It was then for repairs just last week. Okay, so obviously he's angry. Okay, because he said our car, uh, my car, it was in repairs last week, and and this week it also I bring it in repairs. So uh, there are something, there must be something that went wrong. Okay, so obviously he's very very annoyed with this. Okay, and the repair uh, man said, we will have it checked. We will have it checked. And this is just to uh, assure this customer. Okay, this is a very uh, random reply just to uh, assure the customer and to see what's the problem. So this is a, a situation happens in car repairs and the sentence that, uh, and the sentence that is actually complained here is the second one. Okay, which is this one. We can choose this one. Okay, so this is the complaint. This is the complaint in the first picture. Now we'll go to the second one, which is housing. Okay, so this is the customer, and this is, let's say, the real estate uh, uh, broker. So the customer said, the walls are filthy. They need to be repainted. The walls are filthy. They need to be repainted. And the uh, re uh, real estate person said, don't worry, we will get it done. Don't worry, we will get it done. So the customer uh, uh, complaint was that the walls are not clean. They were very filthy. So we, uh, you need to repaint it. Okay? So this is the sentence that we can consider uh, that as, we can consider it as a complaint, okay? Because the second sentence, he asked them what they should do. They should 
uh, repainted. Okay. So this is regarding the first two pictures. We also have more. Let's uh, read them now. Okay, so now also we have uh, uh, the different uh, situations in different uh, places. Okay, so the first one is clothing. Uh, uh, obviously, it's uh, in, um, maybe in a clothing shop. Okay, uh, uh, this is what happened. And this is the, 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 the customer and she is, uh, this one is the clerk who works in this, uh, in this shop, a clothing shop. So. Let's see uh, how it goes. This sleeve is torn. This sleeve is torn. I will have it soon. I will have it soon. I would rather have a new jacket or a refund. I would rather have a new jacket or a refund. So actually here the customer came and he says, look, I have a torn sleeve. As you can see here, I have a torn sleeve, OK? And she said that we will sue it for you. Okay, we will sue it for you. The the uh, the clerk said, but no, she uh, said you only have two options: either you bring me a new one or a refund, which means to give my money back. Okay, to take your to take your uh, the jacket. Okay, and uh, give me my money, or you can take it and give me a new one. Okay, so here is actually. In this uh, scenario, and this picture, okay, this is the sentence of complaint. This is the sentence of complaint. The sleeve is torn. <laughs> now we'll go to a, a different uh, place, okay? So obviously it's a uh, um, uh, computer uh, computer shop, okay? The hotel products that regarding computing, okay? So let's see, and this is the customer, and this is the, the man who works at this shop, okay? Let's see how this uh, conversation goes. This computer crashed. This computer crashed. Do you have a warranty? Do you have a warranty? Yes, I have a three-year warranty. Yes, I have a three-year warranty. I will have a technician look at it. I will have a technician look at it. So here, as you can see, the uh, customer said that my computer is crashed. And the first thing that this man asked for is the warranty. A warranty is actually a document okay, that can guarantee your, um, that Karen, uh, the, uh, guarantee the safety of an item. Okay, and uh, and also what's included in this uh, document is that uh, this item is uh, never used before and is uh, totally new. And if if you can if you have uh, or if you find any problem, you can just uh, present this warranty and we will uh, have it checked. And the customer said, yes, I have the warranty that lasted for three years. Okay, I have warranty that lasts for Three years, and he said, "Okay, I will have a technician. A technician are those the people who are uh, specialized with computing and that kind of stuff. So uh, to look at it and see what exactly the problem is. So the complaint here, actually, in this scenario, is the first one, the first sentence: the, this computer crashed. This computer crashed. Okay. So." Uh, those are the sentences, as you can see, we have four pictures and four sentences of complaints that we, uh, uh, we read and introduced and we understand how to make complaints and how to actually reply to them. So uh, as a comment, as a conclusion, each picture, of course, contains an item that is either broken or damaged in some way, okay? And from those pictures, that we just read, yes, in each one. There are either uh, a broken or damaged uh, item, like, uh, for example, a car here in the first one, a car engine, OK? And the second one, uh, a filthy wall, in the second picture. And the third one, uh, a torn sleeve. And the, the, uh, the last one, uh, a computer that was uh, crashed. 
So now uh, the question is matching. Match between the photos and the words. Okay, so now we have uh, four photos and we have only three words. And those uh, words were elicited from the pictures that we just read. And what we need to do is now just to match them. So let's begin with the first one, selfie. If you remember, we said selfie wall, which means selfie wall not uh, um, not to be fixed, nor to be painted, uh, nor to be uh, paid for, but it's actually uh, not clean and need to be cleaned by repainting. So this is number so we go for number two. Now refund, we said that if you're not happy with an item, you either get a new one or you get a refund. And what I mean by refund is mean to get your money back. This is number one. And number three, technician, where we say that uh, the man who works uh, in, uh, who knows uh, all about technology and how to fix the, the devices that related to technology like uh, computers or tablets. And this goes for number four. So again, filthy means very dirty. Refund to get one's payment back, to give them the money back. Technician is someone who makes repairs that are related to a, a technology device and stuff. So. so now the consumer awareness, what to be aware of, and this is a, 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 a slogan that uh, need to that uh, required by each uh, uh, customer or consumer to know or uh, to, to actually know of before he buy anything, whether a house or a car or anything else. So the categories, what are the categories of consumer problems? They, we, uh, let's say, constrain them in four categories. The first thing, housing. And here are the things that you need to be aware of in housing. The first thing is the leaky pipe, as you can see here, leaky pipe. And the second thing is the dripping faucet, dripping faucet, as you can see here. And the broken doorknob, broken doorknob. And loose floorboards, loose floorboards, and also broken window, window pane broken window pane. So those are the problems that you need to be aware of uh, as a consumer. And also car repairs, we have a cracked wind, windshield, cracked windshield, and also flat tire, a flat tire, and also dead battery, dead battery, and a worn tire, a worn tire, as you can see here, or dents in the body of the car, dents in the body of the car, okay? So also we do have the two other categories which are clothing. You need to be aware of the stain and the hole and the missing button and also tone. This is also uh, the uh, problems that you need to be aware of in, in clothing. Also regarding the electronic products where most problems happen, for example, the air conditioning that doesn't get cold, and also cell phones that has no signal, or uh, let's say scratch DVDs, or TV lines on screens like this one. Okay, so those are uh, uh, problems that you need to be aware of. So, what do you think is the worst problem for each category you have seen? Okay, so as we can see, we have uh, Four categories. So what do you think is the worst? The worst problem of them all. Okay. I will start from myself. Uh, I will I'll say leaky bias because this is something that you cannot uh, see. Okay. It's not obvious to you, like doorknob or loose or loose floorboards. Okay. It's not something that's obvious for you. Okay. And uh, for car repairs, I believe. Uh, the worst uh, problem is that dent in the body, okay? Because uh, let's say for flat tire you can repair it, you can buy a new battery, but dent maybe in the body is it needs a, a very very long process. And for clothing, of course, uh, torn if it's the uh, clothing is torn, this is the worst uh, uh, problem. 
And for electronic uh, products are scratch DVD because it's something that you either buy a new one or uh, you get rid of this because there is no other solution. So, so those, I believe, the worst problems for each category that we just uh, saw. So new words we have, dead battery, it means no power in the battery, cannot be used. Dent, it means the surface of a car is bent in from being hit. And also flat tire, it means a tire that has no air in it and need to be replaced. So answer the question regarding the complaints we just read in the uh, beginning of our lesson. What, uh, uh, what was wrong with the apartment? If you remember that uh, the walls were not clean. And what does the mechanic say he's doing, uh, going to do? He said that for the car repairs he's going to check, uh, to check it again. And what was wrong with the jacket in the third the picture, it was actually the sleeve was torn. And number four, what was uh, wrong with the computer? It cracked, if you remember, in the computer shop. So let's check the answers all together. Yes, the first one, the walls are dirty and need to be repainted. Number two, the mechanic say he says he will have the engine checked. And number three, the problem with the clothes is that the jacket with the jacket, the sleeve of the jacket was torn. And uh, what's wrong with the computer is that the computer actually crashed. So now we reach uh, the uh, summary of our lesson. We talked about uh, warm up and how to make a complaint. We read different scenarios and also we learned a new word. So here are the references of our lesson. And if you want to watch the lesson again, please visit Drew's case. And here are the means of communication if you do have any question or inquiry. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.